What's up guys, I am back and iOS 14.1 is finally here and in this video I'm gonna show you what's new and if you should install it or not. Now if you guys recall last week Apple did release iOS 14.1 but they ended up pulling the update and they gave us the 14.1 Golden Master instead. But we finally have the official release and the update is rather small, around 500 MBs. So it mostly includes some bug fixes and some changes here and there, but there isn't a whole lot of new features going on with this update. So most of it is bug fixes regarding widgets, calculator and so on, which I will get to in a second. Now the biggest new addition is 10-bit HDR video playback. So if you guys recall, the new iPhones have 10-bit HDR video support so they can shoot that but the older iPhones from iPhone 8 now have the ability to play that video in the phone. And they've also fixed the issue with video quality streaming so that used to drop but it is not fixed with iOS 14.1. But most of the changes and most of the bug fixes they come for the widgets. So they have addressed the issue where the icon sizes used to get reduced when you add a widget or the icons just used to go missing when you add a widget so all of that is fixed with iOS 14.1 and they have also fixed this issue with the calculator app where the zeros were not showing up so that has been fixed with iOS 14.1 as well and they have also addressed a major issue with the email app so emails they used to get sent on the wrong aliases that has been fixed and they have fixed one major issue with incoming calls so if you use a new call you add the new call bar information was not coming up so that has been fixed with iOS 14.1 as well and if you have an Apple Watch, there was an issue with the case material if you have the Series 6. So if you had the aluminum watch app might show you that you have the stainless steel. So that hasn't fixed and addressed with iOS 14.1. And they've also addressed an issue I was facing myself. It was with the music app. So I wasn't able to install and add music to the library. That has been addressed with iOS 14.1, which is a good thing. So should you install iOS 14.1 or not? Now the simple answer is yes. There are some big bug fixes that Apple has fixed which were bugging all of us from a long time. So all of that has been fixed with iOS 14.1 and they've also added some quirky little features which they haven't listed in the change logs but they have made some changes and they have fixed some bugs which add up to the update and make it a good update. So in my opinion, go ahead and install iOS 14.1 a lot of bugs have been squashed with this update. Now talking about the battery life, it is still too early to say because we just got the update but I don't see any major change or any major fix that will add to the battery life. So if you guys don't know how to save and improve your battery life, I will link that video down in the description. But that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, give it a big thumbs up and stay tuned because a lot of iPhone 12 coverage is coming really soon and if you guys want to see comparisons of iPhone 12 and 12 Pro, all of those videos will be linked down below in the description. Until then, please like, comment and subscribe. Peace.